Hi guys, you are watching Oxy Vlogs. If this is your first time here and you would like to know more information about life in Dubai, don't forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss my next video. And today let's talk about how to buy a car in Dubai. So let's start. So guys, there are two main reasons why you should buy a car in Dubai. First of all, because public transportation system is not developed enough for regular travels and the petrol is quite affordable. Before buying a car in Dubai, it's best to do as much research as possible and it's necessary to have the required documents such as your passport, uh, UAE driving license, UAE residency visa, and salary certificate and NOC from your employer. You should set a budget and make sure that insurance costs are covered in your budget. It's around 5% of the car value. There are many of new and used car dealerships in Dubai and at the same time many expats constantly coming and going. That's why there are so many private sellers on the market. If you are buying a used car, you should uh, read the service history record and bring the vehicle to a mechanic, even if it looks to be in a perfect condition. Many people recommend to buy a car with the GCC specs because later it will be more affordable to maintain engine and air conditioning. If you decide to buy a new car, you should find out when the next model is due to be released because as soon as new model drops on the market, the price uh, for previous model will drop immediately. So if you wait a little bit, you will get a chance to buy your car for a cheaper price. Car dealers often have different promotions and the best times to buy a car in Dubai are summer festival and Ramadan. There are plenty of offers and deals on the market. Many car owners even use it as a perfect time to upgrade their car. The deal usually includes one year of insurance and a service warranty period. If you are planning to get a car loan, dealers may work with a specific bank and they will help you to arrange financing. The depreciation rate in Dubai can be very high, such as like 30%, so when buying a new car, don't expect to sell it close to the price of purchase. There are plenty of used or pre-owned dealerships in Dubai. I will mention some of them in the description below. One of the most popular websites for used cars is Dubizo. You can find car there from the owners and dealers. Next, what kind of driving licenses are accepted in Dubai? You can start driving in the UAE when you are 18. Residents of one of 32 countries can simply exchange their license for UAE driver's licenses. The list of countries you can check with the Road and Transport Authority, RTA. You will hear this abbreviation quite often in Dubai and I will leave the link in the description below. So check it out. Experts from other countries must attend driving classes and pass the test. Personally, I tried to pass the driving test three times. It wasn't easy and many experts say it's easier to get a university degree rather than a driving license in Dubai. There was a girl with me who had 10 years of driving experience in your home country and she failed the test in Dubai. So sometimes it depends on your luck. And you should know that every time you fail the test, you need to pay around 600 dirhams to do it again. So guys, as you see, it's quite easy and affordable to buy a car in Dubai, but to get a license is a bit of a headache. And I know many people who are still using public transport or taxi because they don't have time to take the classes, especially if they know how to drive uh, or they just been lazy. So that's it for today. If you find this information useful, please don't forget to hit the like under this video and write your feedback in the comments below. It's very uh, important to me. It helps me to grow my channel and post more videos for you. And thank you for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye bye.